Right then, good morning YouTube. It's Tony the Lakeland Biker, and as you might have guessed, I'm not in the Lake District. This is a 2015 model BMW R1200R. And I have to say, it's a very, very nice bike to ride. It's the water-cooled engine, the new 1170cc water-cooled BMW motor. It's, it feels a lot lighter than my 2013-1200. Good horn. Excellent fourth gear pickup. Great brakes. It's not as comfortable as mine, I wouldn't have said. I've been on it for about half hour, 40 minutes now. Good, good acceleration. It's got all the toys, cruise control, ABS, automatic suspension. At the moment I've got it on the road fuel map and the road suspension setting. That's a straight top gear roll on. And I've got to say, that is impressive. It's got a serious amount of poke, this engine. 125 brake horsepower, which is rather good. Wing mirrors are about as good. Silly little screen. Not really my cup of tea. I don't know if that's stock or not. Indicators take a bit of getting used to, but at least the horn's in a sensible place. It has very addictive acceleration. Nice. Definitely got a nicer engine note than my version. Obviously this is the mount for the BMW motor rad sat nav. And you can definitely feel the torque effect on this one far more than on mine. This should be fun now though, give it a, a few twisties and see how it handles it. certainly feels a lot more natural than I did on that Harley. That's very nice. Definitely feel that extra 15 brake there. Gearbox is lovely. Drive out the corners is astounding.
This is all just being done under the throttle here. I'm not using the brakes. And it is absolutely terrific. Yeah, I really, really, really do like this. Yeah, but even at very slow speed, you know, I'm now pootling at what, 18, 17 mile an hour. I'm in third gear. And it is very, very, very easy to ride. It feels narrow, very, very flickable. Certainly I'd have no qualms about filtering this. Handlebars are nice and comfortable. Uh, the seat isn't quite as comfy, but my, this engine's a peach. I think the new fuel injection system has got a much nicer feel to it. I'm not sure if this is a fly-by-wire throttle or not. It doesn't appear to be, but I don't know if that's a, a cable or not, I'll have to look up on that. If it is fly-by-wire, then it is a very, very smooth fly-by-wire system. It's got conventional forks as opposed to the telelever on mine. You do notice it when you hit the brakes. The one thing I will say is I do think the sensation of braking on the telelever model is more pleasant. Essentially because you don't have the dive. You know, it really does dive noticeable where if I do that on my 1200 you don't get that front end dip keep hitting the horn instead of the uh, indicator but that's just purely me being used to mine the controls it looks a little bit cluttered to me that's your cruise control very nice that's your pass not sure where main beam is that's for sat nav if you have it fitted it's key ignition rather than keyless which is a bit strange in today's world for a bike of this sort of price fuel lights just come on telling me i've got 30, 31 miles worth of petrol left well that's all right i can pop the petrol station in banks and fill up since i'm going back that way deliberately now, this is a nice road just to give it a test on it's quite twisty it's quite bumpy and more importantly i don't know it very well which is why i've picked it i'm taking the guess that it's possibly even automatic lights um i have yet to find where their main beam is which i do find a little bit disconcerting we're rolled in and out of these, it's, it's nice. Very, very easy. Doesn't feel as heavy as mine. I really could do with the foot pegs coming down half an inch. Or an inch. I don't know if they are adjustable. I would hope they are. Sort of the arse to ankle ratio is just a touch too short for me. Do we just, a, you know, an extra inch down there, I think it'd be a lot more comfortable. Yeah, definitely more of a noticeable torque effect. But the shaft is, of course, on the other side on this one. But yes, yeah, definitely more torque effect. Well, it's actually quite, quite nice. It makes it a little bit more reminiscent of a traditional Beamer. As you can see, and hopefully here, there, it's got a very, very nice roar on it. And it's definitely more freely revving than mine. Gearbox is a lot smoother. It's got smashing power and handles really, really well. Definitely a sweetie. I really like this. I really do like it. This thing is superb. Um, I don't think I'd go for the ESA. I'd probably have it without. Whee! What speed to uh...
and like I say it's a lot more revy than mine but this screen's nothing like as effective nothing like as effective as the one on mine and it does look like a little bit of an afterthought that could have been done a lot better but that's really about the only thing you can nitpick about it well, this is Southport's coastal road notoriously bumpy so it'll be a really good test for the suspension somewhere over there is the Irish Sea now I've got the suspension on road and it's riding these bumps very very well and like I said this bit of road is incredibly subsided So, 2015. So, this is it. R12R. The new one. I think in comparison to mine, it feels similar. Obviously, the new engine makes a big difference. It's just so much more revy. very easy to ride around town this is Southport by the way jewel of the northwest Definitely feel the torque effect on the shaft though, pulling the bike to the left. <laughs> 